in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing about operators in C. In the previous video, I have discussed some bitwise operators, three bitwise operators, bitwise end, bitwise or and bitwise XOR operator with the help of proper example. So in this video, I am going to discuss the remaining bitwise operators that is left shift, right shift and bitwise not and bitwise not is also known as one's complement. Right. So we'll be discussing these remaining bitwise operators with the help of proper example. And after discussion on these operators, I'm, I'll be telling you some short trick also. Like if in a program or if in a code, the uh, bitwise operators are given and you are supposed to tell the output. So then directly by using that short trick, you can tell the output of that code. Right. Everything we'll be discussing in this uh, video now. So now let us discuss the remaining operators. One, we have left shift. We have right shift and this one is tilt sign. This one is uh, bitwise not operator. So first let us discuss this left shift operator. Don't confuse, don't get confused in this left shift and right shift. See if it is like, it is, uh, you know, uh, right like this, this and this. So it is left shift. This is this side. So it is for right shifting, right? So this operator is binary operator and it, this operator is used to shift the number, the given number to left side. Now, what is the syntax of this operator? This side we have first operand uh, or you can say a variable and the operator and after that you have second operand or the number. Maybe suppose I am writing here 2. So, this is first operand, this is second operand. First operand is what? You have to shift this variable or you, you can say you have to shift this number, you have to shift this operand. By how many bits? that the second operand will tell you by two bits you have to shift this variable this number and to this side left side or here rather than variable see suppose I am taking this example int a is equal to 10 and I am writing here a left shift 2 and I am storing suppose this value in c or b now what output you will get what value would be stored in c so now check the functioning of this left shift operator See, the value is 10. So, bitwise operators always manipulate the data, always operate at bit level. It is byte. All the other operators operate at byte level and this operator uh, manipulate the data or perform the operations at bit level. So, first of all, convert this. This is decimal to convert this into binary form. I am using 8 bit representation. Right. So, now... The binary form of this 10 is what? We have 1010. I hope you know uh, how to convert a decimal number to, to binary number. The shortcut is you can write down here 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And I am placing 1 and 1 here because 8 plus 2 is 10. So this is binary form of 10. Right. Now, if suppose number is uh, 11, then where you will put 1? Here 1, here 1 as well as here 1. 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Right? This is shortcut. So now you have to shift this number by 2 bits. Left shift means this side. So now after left shifting, the number would become something like this. This side left shift you have to shift this. Means 1 and 2. 2 bits would be discarded. Right? Now this bit would be at this place. This would be shifted to this. Like this. And now these two places are remaining blank because we have discarded two bits from the left. Now at this places the trailing places the trailing bits would be filled with zero. 0 and 0. It's not like that we are filling these 0 and 0 here. No, these bits are discarded. No use of these bits. Just fill the remaining the trailing places, the trailing bits with 0. Now, this is the new number. Now, convert this into decimal. What output you will get? This is binary form, right? Now, the decimal form of this one, we have 1 at this place 8 and we have 1 at this place 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. So, this number is 40. When you convert this into by, uh, decimal that you will get 40. So, now in C what value would be stored? 40. 
So, if you will print C then you will get 40 right. Now, and if you print A also then after that A has also updated and that is also 40 or you can tell me if I am wrong. Just uh, write down a simple program, take a variable, left shift this, print both C and A. What output you will get you can tell me in comment box right. So, this is functioning of left shift operator. I hope you got it. Suppose I shift this one by uh, 4, A left shift 4. Now, what you will get 4 bits would be shifted to left. These 4 bits 1, 2, 3, 4. These bits would be discarded. Now, this 1 would be at this place 1, 0, 1, 0. The remaining bits, the trailing bits would be filled with 0, 0, 0. Right? Now, what is the decimal number of this one? We have 1 at 128 and we have 1 at where 32. So, just add these numbers. This is I guess 160. So, the output would be 160. The decimal one number corresponding to this is 160. Now, this is the processor, long processor. Now, what is the shortcut? If without look, without converting it into binary and without shifting, how you can tell? See, if A left shift 4, then final output you will get is what? The number A, just take the number that is 10 into 2 raised to power the right operand. This is left operand to this operator, this is right operand. So, here at in right operand we have what? 4, 2 raised to power 4. Now, 10 into 2 raised to power 4 is 16. So, that is what? 160 and that, that's it. We got 160. So, this is shortcut. If you write here 2, what output you will get without looking at this one? A is 10 into 2 raised to power 2. 10 into 4 that is 40 and the same output we got 40. So, this is short, short trick to find out the answer, to, to find out the output right without uh, uh, following the proper processor. Now, what about left uh, sorry right shift operator? This is used to shift the, the number by uh, to right side. So, this is this one. It is also having two operand. One is this one, one is this one. This is the number you have to shift. This is by how many bits you have to shift that number. So, suppose I am taking same example a is 10 binary value of a is this one. I am going to do what right shift of this by 2. Now, what is the processor? See. right shift this number means this side you have to shift this side so now two bits one and two these two bits would be discarded now this bit would be at this place and now here we have blank spaces so in this case the leading uh, space the leading places would be filled with zero same here zero it's not like that we discard it and this would be at this side we discard it or you can say we we uh, remove this uh, this bit from here and we place it here no these bits would be discarded two bits and we place new bits that is zero we fill the, this remaining uh, space the blank uh, space with uh, zeros now see what is decimal form of this one we have one at what place this is what two so then the decimal form of this is two now suppose if you shift it by four right shift by 4 then what value you will get this number by 4 1 2 3 4 these 4 bits would be discarded now these bits would be shifted like this 0 0 0 0 and that the remaining places we fill 0 so the, what is decimal form of this one 0 because we have no one no uh, one here so that is 0 output would be 0 now let us discuss the shortcut to find out the shift the result after the shift operator without following the proper processor. See, the number is A that is 10. If you right shift this one, then you divide this. In left shift, you multiply this number, the given number. So, 10 divide by 2 raised to power, how many bits are there? 2 raised to power 4. So, 10 divide by 16. So, definitely the output would be 0. 0. Point something. So, it will take, it will uh, remove that fractional part, it will take only decimal value. If I write here, that is what exactly you got, 2. Now, if you write here 2, then what output you will get? 10 divided by 2 raised to power 2, 10 divided by 4, that is we get 2, 2 point something, but it will remove that fractional part, it will give you what? That decimal value and exactly we got 2.
So this is what shortcut. So I hope you got what are left shift and right shift operator and you can tell the output by using the short, uh, short trick. Now what about this logical not operator? So this operator will use to find out you can see the ones complement of the number or this will invert the bits. Invert the bits mean if the bit is 0, original bit is 0 after applying this operator that will, will, will become 1. If the original bit is 1 after applying this operation that become 0. See let us take one example. If I write here um, that uh, number 5 right and or you can say int a is equal to 5 and I am storing b is equal to bitwise not a. Now what output would you, you will get means what is the value of b now. See first of all convert this into binary the binary number is this one 101. One. I am using 4 bits for the, this 5 because remaining would be 0 0. So 1 2 4 8 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is what binary number of 5. Now bitwise not of a so the bits would be converted inverted means 1 becomes 0 this becomes 1 this becomes 0 this becomes 1 right. So this is what binary number of 10. So this is when you apply a bitwise not then this output you will get or when you will run this one into computer then you will get a negative number means you will get a two's complement number here negative numbers in computer negative numbers are stored uh, uh, using three methods we can store negative numbers sign magnitude one's complement and two's complement but in sign magnitude and one's complements there, there are some drawbacks that is why uh, the standard math method to uh, represent to store negative numbers in computer memory is two's complement that maybe we will be discussing in some separate video that is a complete chapter right now what output you will get when you run this statement into your computer you will get what uh, uh, that negative number now see negative number what you will get see this is the number suppose a and when you apply negation of a then shortcut is what how you will get minus a plus 1 just simply do this thing and you will get that answer means minus a is what 5 5 5 plus 1 is 6 that minus 6 you will get so according to the logic of bitwise not operator this is also right you will get this one but in computer memory you will get this one in two's complement form so that is also fine. Now suppose a is 10 and so negation of a would become minus 10 plus 1 that is minus 11 you will get right. So I hope directly you can uh, tell the output if this, this is given. So now minus 10 would be stored in b fine. Now this is what about bitwise not operator and see bitwise it's not like that you can only use variable here you can also write simply negation of 5 then also you will get same output negation of 10 you can also use a constant that is also fine right and suppose if uh, you use in that left shift and right shift also you can uh, write down 5 left shift 1 that is also fine means here please don't get confused this is what the number you have to shift means 5 need to be converted into binary and that number need to shift and by how many bits that will tell the right operand by one bit or you can write down like 10, 10 right shift 2 this is also fine you can also use constant instead of variables or here also you can use some uh, that uh, arithmetic uh, operations or uh, let us suppose if I write like this uh, a is 10 suppose a is 10 I am writing a plus 1 left shift 2 and I am writing a plus 2 right shift 1 or I am writing negation of a plus 3. Now tell me what you can tell me in comment box what would be output of these things or maybe uh, there are some errors like you cannot use these kind of things in these operators then also you can tell me right. So you have to execute these statements fine. So now this is all about bitwise operators I mean I just want to give you the overview the functioning of these operators we will be discussing in separate video maybe some technical type of questions that could be asked on these operators some twisted type of questions uh, right. So now that is it for this video now in next video I will be discussing about some special uh, operators in C. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.